Dr. Jing Song Jing with the Moffitt Cancer Center and Mark Story with Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network are joining us with more on, yes, bladder and urinary cancer. Let's, so let's start with the doctor. And doctor, can you explain what a common type of bladder and urinary cancer is? Yeah, urothelial carcinoma is the most common type of bladder cancer. And the bladder cancer is the sixth most common cancer in the United States. So it begins in the cells landing inside the bladder. It can also occur in other parts of the urinary tract, including the ureter and the renal pelvis. So the estimated deaths from urothelial carcinoma in 2021 is about 16,000. And who is at highest risk for this? Who typically is diagnosed with it? Yeah, it's typically diagnosed, you know, more than 90% of cases were diagnosed in patients after age 55. Uh, they present with uh, blood in the urine and then diagnosed by urologists with bladder cancer. It's more common in male than female, and the smoking is the most important risk factor. Okay, let's bring Mark in. And Mark, uh, tell us about this new treatment. Why is it an important advancement for patients? Sure. Well, I'd first like to start by saying that we at the Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network are grateful for the support that we've received from Bristol Myers Squibb for our education and outreach activities. Until 2016, the way in which bladder cancer was treated had not changed in 30 years. Historically, bladder cancer patients have had very limited treatment options available to them. So that's why we think that new treatment options like the one that we're discussing today are very good news for bladder cancer patients because it presents options that were not available to patients before to fight this terrible disease. And Mark, you've seen firsthand how this is, has been a, a drastic change from previous years. Uh, yes, bladder cancer continues to impact 83,000 people this year are estimated to be diagnosed with the disease. And as Dr. Chung mentioned, 16,000 will not survive it. Okay, well, Dr. and Mark, we appreciate you. And where can we go for more information? Well, there's two answers to that question. For general information about bladder cancer, I encourage folks to visit our website at bcan.org. And there you can find hundreds of pages of information about bladder cancer risk factors, diagnosis, treatment, as well as life after bladder cancer. For more information about the treatment that we're discussing today, I would encourage folks to visit updevo.com for more details. All right, wonderful information. Thank you both for being with us on our show. And of course, in case you missed anything at all, you can go to our website and that's at firstcoastliving.net.